Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you once again for coming back and watching another video guaranteed to make you a better player. Today we're talking about how to become a professional footballer and I'm very excited to release this video because in this video is some powerful information that if you actually use it, actually act upon it, you will increase your chances of achieving this goal of becoming a professional player. Now today we're talking to William Olaremi John. He's played professionally in several different countries around the world. Started off in the MLS, then he moved to Morocco, Croatia, Israel, Azerbaijan. Right now he's playing professionally in Finland. So this guy has done it, he's been through it, he's got a lot of powerful advice to share with you. So please turn up the volume, get focused, and listen to this guy because he's about to share some great information that I want you to take to heart. Guys, what up? My name is William Olaremi John. I'm a professional soccer player. I have technically played professional soccer on four continents, and now I play in Europe for ropes in the Finnish Super League. We're gonna talk a little bit about how to become a professional soccer player. More specifically, this is not gonna be a video about how hard you need to work, what you need to eat, when you need to work out, and all those things, okay? If you don't know already that you need to work hard in order to become a professional athlete, uh, then you've already lost. This video is for people who are outside of the market, I mean, of any age, of any age, okay? And regardless of your country, okay? Things will change uh, depending on what country you're in, but I'm gonna try and give you some guidelines, that way you have an understanding of what you can do. First things first, let's talk about what you will find if you do a search on how to become a professional soccer player. Uh, something you're gonna come across are open tryouts, combines, maybe some of these European tours where they will take you with a possible chance to play in front of uh, some coaches from some European teams. There's no guarantee that you will get a contract out of these. You are going to be spending a lot of money and your time uh, on transportation, food, and certain fees that they will make you pay. These are, in my opinion, not the best way to go about it. It's actually probably the worst way to go about it because everyone has an opportunity to get these and they're not exclusive in any way. And there's no guarantee that the coach even has to look at you at all. Uh, I also Googled the costs uh, for some open tryouts in the MLS. And uh, Seattle Sounders is $150. LA Galaxy is $175. And my hometown club is Sporting Kansas City. They charge $258. And they top out at about 200 people per tryout. So that's 258 times 200 people. That's about $51,600 which they've made in two days. You know, so it makes perfect sense for them. They already have the field. They're not gonna pay for your food. They're not paying for your hotel if you're coming from outside, okay? And there's no guarantee that they have to give anyone a contract at all whatsoever. So it makes sense for them, okay? And you need to understand that clubs have their own channels and their own ways of getting players, and this is not the best way for them to do that. If you have the money to do this, by all means, go for it. But there's a better way, and I'm gonna explain that a little bit later. Let's say you want to just contact a club yourself and tell them you're the player that they need to win the championship. Let's just have a look at what DC United's policy is because they do not have open tryouts. And if you go to their website, you can read, uh, the first team does not hold open tryouts, but does invite players for trials. Inviting a player for trial is extremely rare. And usually only after the team has scouted a player with their current professional team which means you're not getting in because you're not a professional, okay? Unsolicited requests for a tryout are not accepted. Please do not call asking for a tryout. An individual that would like to make their abilities known to DC United's first team should forward a copy of their resume and DVD. Material submitted will not be returned. If the first team is interested, they will contact you. And in bold, please do not call us or send a message inquiring about the status of the materials you submitted, okay? So if you're curious as to what's happening to your DVD when DC United gets it. Now, I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. They could have an intern there sitting down and uh, watching every minute of every DVD in order to check and see if they haven't missed something, but I highly doubt it. Yeah. 
those options are out. You're going to need an agent. The reason for this is that an agent is in the system already. He knows coaches. He knows scouts. He has other players who are hopefully in some of these teams that you want to be on. Don't get confused. Agents are very much in this to make money. As much as it is many players dream to become a professional, they don't necessarily share that dream for you, especially if they think they might have to work very hard. It becomes a little tricky, and if you're a parent and you have a kid who, you, who, who aspires to be a professional, then I'm gonna try and give you at least an idea of how to make this uh, work for you. So some rules, never send money to, a, to a, an agent uh, ever on any condition. There are no agency fees. The only time you need to be sending an agent money is after he's gotten you your first contract uh, and you guys are talking about 10%, 15%, whatever it is. You know, before that, never send an agent any money ever. Secondly, agents are, at the beginning, not your friend, okay? They will tell you anything, so you need to do your own research on the agent. If you Google uh, FIFA player agents, all right, you're gonna find a list of agents that have passed some tests and licensing. They have uh, recognition by the, by the Federation. Make your videos as professional looking as possible, okay? Because if they click on the, the YouTube link and they can't tell which player you are and they can't see it very well, they're just not gonna look. It's very important, okay? Because they have plenty of players to choose from and if you don't make it easy for them, why should they care? You're also gonna need a CV or a resume and you wanna keep this as simple as possible, okay? Your name your age, uh, where you're from, which passports you hold, okay? Uh, what position you play, your dominant foot, all right? And uh, when you're listing which teams you play for or have played for, you wanna put your statistics there, your goals, games played, and hopefully that gets you an idea of how to get started. I'll definitely make another video about the other things that you're gonna run into. This should be enough to keep you away from uh, wasting your money and wasting your time and uh, getting you a chance to just get on the field and do what you love. Thank you, Will, for that fantastic video. I know you put a lot of work into that and it shows because that is some quality information. Now, if you're watching this video at home and you're saying to yourself, yeah, this is something I want to do. I do want to become a professional. Well, you need to take this information and you need to act on it today. Not tomorrow, not next month, not next season when you're a better player. Okay, start early and stick with it for the long run because in reality, you may have to hear a hundred no's before you get that one yes. You need to start early and you need to stick with it. Now that may discourage some people having to hear all those no's or go through all these hard times, but believe me, it's not gonna come to you easy. So if that discourages you, maybe this isn't for you. What it needs to do is motivate you. You're willing to put in that hard work. You're willing to go through all this because this is what you really want, okay? If it motivates you, then you're on the right track. Now, please do me a big favor and follow William Olaremi John on all forms of social media. He's given me a bunch of links and I'm gonna put them in the description of this video. If you look below this video, click that description tab and read through that. You'll have links to his Facebook, to his Twitter, to his Instagram, and to his website. Okay, lots of great content on there and lots of great highlight videos. Please follow this guy because he is the real deal. Now, before we leave, let's just talk about what he talked about in his short video, okay? Talked about the European tours, the combines where coaches come and watch a group of players for a week or so, the open tryouts, okay? What he said is these aren't the best. So players do get selected from those. It happens every year. Players do get selected from those. It's just a very few, very small amount. What he did recommend was first getting your player video 
in place, getting your resume made, okay, with all those details that he mentioned. Remember, the player video has to be in-game footage. No one wants to see you do, dribbling through cones and hitting free kicks by yourself, okay? What can you actually do in the game? Show your ability to perform in the game. So in-game footage, a good player resume or CV, and then you can send that off to clubs if you want to start being your own agent. But what he recommend is get yourself an agent. Now you can search on the internet. What I would recommend is if you can, you may not have this option, but if you have a friend who's gone professionally and they have an agent or a relative or a friend of a friend or your uncle's cousin had an agent and he did, if you can talk to someone who has worked with someone you know, that person is probably gonna give you a better chance of getting in touch with that agent if you have a good video, if you have a good resume. Okay, so if you need to watch this video a couple times, please do. Remember, please follow William Ol Remy John on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and check out his website. Thank you once again, Will, for making this great video. And most importantly to you right there watching this video, if this is what you want, we'll act on it. Do something today to get where you want to be tomorrow. Talk to you real soon.